Welcome to Math Mini Lessons. My name is Sarah, and today we're going to talk all about rational numbers. Specifically, what are they? And then go into how to compare and order them using all the skills we know about place value and placing them on number lines. So let's jump into today's lesson. Here's our first example. We're going to graph and label each number and its opposite. And the first thing you'll probably notice is that I have a whole number, a decimal, and a fraction. So I like to be able to compare things when they're apples to apples. So let's turn all of these into numbers with decimals. I'm going to start by just changing this one and a half to one and five tenths. It's a very easy one to just convert. And watch how it just makes it easier for me. So now I have one and five tenths negative three, and I'm gonna add a decimal right behind it, and four and 75 hundredths. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some placeholders here so they all look very much the same. And when I start my number line, I wanna look for the number that is furthest from zero, which one has the greatest absolute value. So for that, I'm gonna look here in the ones place, and the, digit, the largest digit is four. So I know that four is gonna be the furthest away. So four and 75 hundredths is the furthest away from zero. And this opposite is also gonna be four and 75 hundredths away, just in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna put negative four and 75 hundredths. So let's check that off. And the next number that is has a high absolute value would be negative three. So I know that negative three has to be somewhere between the negative four and zero. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. So if this is where negative three is, I'm gonna do this opposite. It kind of reminds me of when you did factor rainbows as a kid. I started with the biggest, the biggest factors first, and now we're just gonna go in to the next smallest one. So here's negative three and there is three. And that leaves us with 1.5. So I'm going to start with the positive. And notice I'm going to write it as one and a half and 1.5. And so it's opposite. Notice if it is between the zero and the three, it's opposite is going to be between zero and negative three. And these are just approximations. So here's one and a half, negative one and a half, or negative 1.5. And now I've written all the numbers and their opposites onto the number line. Take 30 seconds and jot this example down in your notes. Let's move on to our second example. And here I have four situations and I'm going to list them in descending order. So when I think of descent, like when a plane goes into descent, it's landing, it's going from the greatest to the smallest to the least. So I'm gonna start my biggest number and I'm going to go down. Uh, the reason that gets very confusing for kids is because when you think of a number line, number lines are always read from left to right. So they always go from your least number to your greatest number. So I just want you to keep that in mind as we're going through this problem that we, we don't wanna go from least to greatest. We're actually going from greatest to least because we want descending order. That's gonna be important. All right, so let's look at each situation and I'm gonna to try to represent them as a number. So I have four degrees below zero, that's easy, that's negative four. 8.3 feet above sea level, so eight and three tenths, I hate saying 0.3. And I'm gonna do the same thing as before, let's make sure we can compare them. If you've lost something, you've lost a gift card, so this is definitely gonna be a negative, so negative, 10 42 you've lost it and then i have one eighth pound of cheese now to make that into a decimal i'm going to take the one eighth and remember that's the same as one divided by eight so let's do that i'm going to go to the thousands place i'm going to do this division pretty quickly because i know that we reviewed this so many times, how to divide, how to convert. So it is uh, one and 20, 125 thousandths. 
So let's put that in there, 125 thousands. And now I'm going to put these again. Let's start with the biggest number. I'm not writing their opposites. I'm only writing, plotting the numbers just so I can see the order. Um, so I'll go with the largest one first. The one with the biggest absolute value is negative. 1042 that has the greatest is the furthest away so let's check this one off um the next greatest is eight and three tenths which is a positive so it's on the right side followed by negative four so it's on the left side of zero four degrees and then we have the one eighth and again these are just approximations so here we have everything listed from again least to greatest but I want it in descending order. So I have to start with the biggest. So I have to start from the eight and three, three tenths. That's my largest. And next is the one eighth pound of cheese, followed by the negative four. I'm not adding the zero because it's not one of the four situations. And then negative ten dollars and forty two cents. So I have listed them in descending order. So hit pause here, take 30 seconds and jot this down in your notes and we'll go right into the guided practice.